Well, I picked up another lawn tractor yesterday. Uh, this guy had a couple old lawn tractors on Craigslist labeled as uh, Project Mowers. And, uh, you know, he didn't have any kind of like uh, prices listed or nothing. But, you know, I, I was just skimming through Craigslist and I come across his ad though. And I clicked on it and I was looking at it. And this one caught my eye. In the picture of it, it had something right there that I've already taken off. If you can't guess it by now. It had these on it. My MTD badges. Both of them. So... Now, I have two badges, plus the one that's already on my tractor, so now I have a spare. But they were attached to this decal, and they were starting to come loose, so instead of risking losing them, I went ahead and took them off. But, anyway... This is a 1987 or 1988, I'm not sure because this wheel on the back side says like June or something, July 1988, however the motor says 87, so I don't know. But it's a, it's a rare find, it's the MTD Silver Edition. And it's basically the same frame as my red MTD 852 and the big Dayton tractor right there, same frame, same fender, same running boards, same hood, dash, seat, and all that, but has the smaller wheels like a standard riding tractor does. Doesn't have the big 23 inch tires and the big rims, the standard wheels. Has a little hitch ball attachment. Got all the stuff for the air cleaner and shroud. Well, I talked to the guy on the phone and I told him I mainly wanted it for the badges. <laughs> he said, Well, I'll tell you what. So I'll sell you the badges for 50 bucks and you can have the tractor with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I drove down to uh, Middle Othian to pick it up. And that's like 72 miles to get there from where I'm at in Arbery. So 72 miles there, 72 miles back. So 144 miles to pick up a lawn tractor for 50 bucks. And it cost me about 35 in gas. But it was worth it to me just for the badges, because seeing that no one had them, at least like I wanted, and um, I couldn't find any on eBay or anything, so I just like, you know what, I'll take a chance with it. And it's really not that bad a shape, and it's mostly complete, and there's my Briggsy. So, what? What do you want? I gave you attention today. What? So... Um, anyway, it was per pretty much complete and everything, and the only thing the guy said he found wrong with was the starter motor was dragging. Well, starter motors, that's easy to fix. I fix them all the time. I take them apart, clean them out, and rebuild them. So, that's no big deal to me. And it has the deck, and it has all the belts are on it, all the pulleys are there, all mechanically here. The only thing really missing is the cover that goes here, but just has a cover for this and the uh, where to go fell in there there it is the parking brake the shift lever is actually right here which I it's like okay this is weird it's a five speed on the side and it's a peerless a regular old peerless transmission not like you it's like the heck I was expecting to find an MTD transmission in it, but it's got an old Peerless. I was like, that's kind of cool. It's different. 
but still has the stupid bolt-on wheels, unfortunately. But at any rate, uh, one of my cousins is needing um, a large lawn tractor, preferably 46 cut, and for 50 bucks, and it's mostly there. I figured, well, I can easily, I think I can easily fix it, turn around, and resell it to my cousin, and uh, for a couple hundred bucks, you know. And I'll probably end up selling that uh, Craftsman LT1000. It's a 42 cut, but they're wanting two tractors. So I figure if I can fix them both up and sell them to them, I'll get them out of here and it's sell, you know, that's a definite customer because they're my cousin. So, and they are wanting to buy a tractor from me because they already talked to me about it. So I'll pretty much, in a sense, got them sold as long as I can get them repaired. I'm surprised how might actually the seat's not in that bad a condition, just a couple of cracks. Other than that, being gone, it's it's all there. Well, it has the running board on that side, but it's missing there. And I'm thinking about just taking that one off as the uh, running mat on my uh, red MTD. It's all torn out right here. And even though this one's got a tear right there, you don't really notice it, so I'll just glue it back together with some epoxy and no one will know. <laughs> so, yay to my MTD badges. I was so amazed that I found those. Looking everywhere for these. It's crazy what one man will do for a piece of plastic. They're all faded real bad though. The silver on it, both of them. I'm gonna clean them, clean them up. I'm only gonna use one though, since the other one on my tractor is uh, in good shape. I'll just clean up the one, repaint it, scrape the old adhesive off. It's just three him, three him, uh, double-sided sticky. I'm gonna stick it back on my uh, red MTD, and I'll, I'll just make a video just dedicated to sticking my badge on. Why not? It'd be funny. So. Anyway, there is the ultra rare, or from what I can find out, pretty much ultra rare, MTD Silver Edition. I didn't find a lot of information on these, so apparently there's not many left. So yeah, sweet. And just for the heck of it, I'll throw this in right quick. I got the hood mounted on the Sabre. I used the uh, MTD uh, front grill support rods that go from here to the dash. I just cut them down and welded them in place on the frame and bolted them up here. One on each side. So, sweet. It opens and stays up. Unless it's running, then the vibration knocks it down. And I got it for the most part lined up. It kind of tweaks around on its own. But, uh, anyway, there's that. So, thanks for watching. Laters.